Hi everyone, welcome to my predictions video for the IGCSE CIE Physics paper alternative to practical paper 6. So if you've seen my other two videos to do with chemistry and biology, you'll know that I'm going to start by saying make sure you have your variables learned. So your independent variable, remember this is what you change, your dependent variable is what you measure, and do make sure that what you're measuring doesn't involve the word amount. We need to avoid using the word amount. There's always better words like length, distance, mass, volume. So for example, when we're looking at Hooke's law, don't be saying things like, I will measure the amount that the spring stretches. You need to say, I will measure the length of the spring in centimeters using a ruler. Can you see by including appropriate apparatus, we're already improving our answer massively. Our control variables are what we keep the same. They often include an electricity practical. So do remember that you can't measure resistance directly, but what you can do is use the formula resistance equals potential difference divided by current. So you can measure potential difference by adding a voltmeter in parallel around a component. Remember, current is measured using an ammeter, which has been added in series. You take a range of readings from those two measuring devices. Make sure you've got a variable resistor included in your circuit. And by doing that, you'll be able to plot a graph of V against I, and the gradient will tell you the resistance. They frequently ask you about the drawing lenses topic here. Make sure you can distinguish between a virtual and real image. A real image can be projected onto a screen, whereas a virtual image cannot. Do make sure you can draw various ray diagrams based on where the object is from that lens and how many focal lengths away it is. I have plenty of videos if you are struggling with that on YouTube that you can go and have a look at, as well as my revision guide, which includes the key diagrams here. Another common experiment is, is determining the specific heat capacity of a substance, whether that's a liquid or a solid. Always bear in mind your equation, which is E equals MC delta T. So we're after C, which is the specific heat capacity. So you need to provide in your method the ways in which you're going to determine E, M and delta T. So M is very straightforward, which we're just going to measure the mass of our object using a balance. Delta T is the change in temperature that can be determined using a thermometer. And then remember to find energy, we're going to use the equation energy equals power times time. So that will be the power of the heater multiplied by the time it's used for. And then you have enough information to sub into your equation e equals MC delta T to find the value of C. Units are going to be very important in the physics exam. Make sure you know that the unit of weight isn't kilograms. Lots of people get that wrong. It's newtons. The unit of a moment is newton meters. The unit of momentum is kilogram meters per second. Make sure you've gone through the specification, learning all the formula you need off by heart, as well as their various units. And you do need to be able to convert to the standard SI unit. So if a time's provided in hours, you'll need to get that into seconds by multiplying by 60 twice. 